wake up the stars tonight We'll be burning on and on Building a brighter light Okay, welcome to the game 2 of RSG vs. Only Philippines I'm sure. Put it in 2-0 na naman to. Base sa galaw nila. Talo yung taya ako sa RSG, with, guys. With the bands that, that we've seen from them, it seems like they really want to take this the utility route. Um, and I think that's, that's fair. And for RSG, usually... I, Kasi sa gold team, guys, hindi na wala talaga yung kail run. First, maybe band dances, actually. Nakaiba mga kapag 1v1 pick kail run. Maybe people forgot how good Faramis is because, you know, not really much of contention right now with so many mid lane heroes available. Yeah. But maybe you guys need a refresher course on how good that hero <laughs> actually is. I think it's funny too because really when you think about, uh, you know, Faramis in general, like Super Super Fritz specifically, he's one of those players that, yeah, loves to play in the mid lane, makes it work really well, but still takes... When we talk about a lot of these heroes with their impact, sometimes it is it comes down to the player, right? What yeah. is their play style? How do they approach it? Now, with this, the Matilda being taken out, I think they already cover their bases. Even if they deal with the Faramis later on, let's say RSG picks it up, it's okay, right? Because now you're not necessarily dealing with what <laughs> was so tough to deal with in those early fights. That sustainability, the mobility, the nether realm. Right, like at least in this case, you can deal with it. That's a great ban there, though. Take out the Vexana. Love it. Oh, for RSG. Yeah, I, I would could have sworn they would want to pick that up first, but uh, the CC gonna be banned out. So you open up Arlet Ruby, and I think RSG really I really wanted to eye for that Arlet. Arlet is something that is just or I think each and each and every. Rome and XP right now are hoping for Novaria. that. It's just a highlight player. Yep. <laughs> this is a highlight hero. There's the Novaria. Then you go oh. carry Arlet. For sure. That's the answer. So how do you shut down the carry this time around? You go Claude immediately for Ooh. RSG. Because that's what they missed out, right? Love that. On, uh, uh, or maybe go Harith uh, for RSG. But yeah, I think um, it, it just makes a lot of sense to go for the Claude now. Maybe take the Fredrin so that you take away the Fredrin Arlet combo. The RSG or RSG likes the, like that combo anyways. Or maybe go uh, entirely different route. Get the uh, Ruby plus the Arlet. Another for RSG. Yep. Carry gameplay and, uh, from Kose here yep. with the carry. So this is back in his time in a different environment That's that we right. talked about, right? Yes. yes. And uh, he has eleven unique heroes and he went okay. six and one with the carry. Okay. So wow. there's the Ruby. Uh, we talked about to go with the Barrett's. Makes a lot of sense. Okay. That's good. There's, I, I love this right now because they've got their front line covered with yeah. these two heroes right there. Yes. Although, again, they are missing out on maybe the Claude because you kind of expect in Onyx to ban that, yep. right? Yep. And now you, your Onyx, just, just ban it out. It's, it's A okay. Or is she going to be looking to ban your Novaria answers? Maybe somewhere along the lines of. Uh, uh, of a fair miss, actually, <laughs> for RSG. We go back to that. Go route. back to it. Yep. And maybe a uh, Valentina. There it is. Yep. Uh, okay. Making sure that, you know, it's just setting up Keller for success. Yeah. RSG are going to be scratching their heads over that one because I don't think it's a. Uh, I, I think that's the only solution now. Because, I mean, Kuse is known as the Claude player. Yeah. They're not protecting themselves. From Kelra's wrath, basically, <laughs> if they're not setting um, to say up for success, lesser evil here might be Brody. And uh, wow. yeah. do I'd they have an actual screenshot? Did you see that they're holding actual screenshots of the game? Uh, I would. I would. Uh, <laughs> that was interesting. The first time I've seen one of them. So they had. They had the screenshot. They had one of the coaches holding a screenshot of the draft game. Ah. The hero selection. Oh, they're still panning up the board. Okay. <laughs> you seem surprised. I, I'm just surprised because, like, I don't even think you really need to against the Navarro. Like, I mean, yeah, it's range for range, you know. Yeah. Um, but, you know, at the same time, I think 
you could have you could have dealt with him with you already having a ruby. Like yep. you know what I mean. Also on Nick, like uh, maybe they're respect. Uh, maybe RC is just respecting super friends. So you, if you're really um, respecting super friends, you ban Valentina. Paramus is an option, but Valentina as well because um, he's just that good with that hero, and I think that it it, it just makes a lot of sense with the Arlet because there's a lot of like extra crowd control that you get from that hero. But also, it uh, denies, uh, yeah, you can actually deny some of those big uh, life picks, like maybe a Kaja, oh if ever that this yeah. Ruby is going to be considered in the EX play. That's big. That's actually pretty big. Yep. Yep. Like that we saw the Flex here available Lilia to them. Lilia instead. Lilia, I was, that was at the top of my head, because I was thinking, you know, in terms of like Super Prince, you mentioned a lot of good heroes, so that, yep. like, they, actually, Super Prince still has a lot of options. They yeah. can roll it, right? Um, I know we've seen the the Nana band down a couple times. I'm yeah. not sure if they want to go with that here, but still, I think at the end of it all, it's just like, all right, let's let Kelra do the exact same thing he did. If yeah. we have some well, of that early damage, damage and potential, potential magic, only Philippines magic, magic damage, damage and Kelra's going to be picked up. But oh, oh boy. I, I, I hope RSG picks up the Benedetta now for, for Nats. That's you go Benedetta good. and then uh, you go maybe just just go for Clint or or maybe a Brody, Brody. actually. Yeah. Brody Benedetta for RC would be really, really good. That's it. Come on, just get it, right? I mean Brody obviously will deal with these heroes from Onik who love to collapse in, into one area. Yeah. You want you want the Theresa to collapse, you want the Arlot to fight in one small area. That's why I think Onik will also love the Faramis here, maybe. Yeah. Uh, so Later. Oh, they go Paquito anyway, wow. uh, instead. So. Alright, yeah. Paquito. The marksman, though. Your marksman. Bruno? Oh, Bruno. That's very cool. Wow. Okay. okay. Is this not. This is okay, this also. not in the realm of anything I was expecting. Absolutely. Mui Yi. And. Okay. <laughs> Okay. I will say a little stunt here. I will yeah. say this. Rock, Rockheart mentioned this earlier. He's like, you know, Faramis' damage is a little yeah. surprising. Louis Yi's damage. <laughs> <laughs> is surprising. Yeah. So Onik Onik has their new coaches, like uh um, so why not is there and then Ito Max is also there. And if you go back to season six, the god of Louis Yi. If there's if you're talking about the players are great at Louis, you only think about two players. Uh, who are those First two players? First is uh, Arps, which no, who is no longer playing. And the second one, and the longest running Louis god of MPL is Ito Max, on, the, the coach himself. of Onik PH right oh, now. Yeah. Ito Max. Well, let's see how exactly this Louis performs in this lineup as we jump into the land of dawn. Game number two here for match two of day three. It's patch point currently for Onyx Philippines against RSG. Can they Ganda extend update the series? Sa, no, it's so no. funny because the land of uh, in the previous series of Onyx, we also saw the Selena, which is also an Ito Max hero. Yeah. So, <laughs> he's this living, guy. He's living through them. Yes, yes right? <laughs> yes. Let me live vicariously through you yeah. by oh you my picking God. my heroes. It's amazing. And it's funny because Super Prince is willing to use these heroes because he also thinks he can make it work. I, I have to respect that. You have to respect that. Well, let's see if that ends up working out, right? Already a low. Oh, wow. That's that is, none. Man. That is some damage. Damage. <laughs> damage. It's a pretty good damage there coming in from RSG. I wonder what I wonder what they chose. I think Nats might have chosen the, the Assassin Emblem because that's the only reason. Oh, by, oh I remember now. Uh, the, the, the second skill of uh, Paquito was actually, uh, was actually buffed. Yeah. <laughs> Early game, you look, you go, you hit level two. You're a walking time bomb. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, that, that's that, that explains the damage, actually. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have, you don't have to say it like that if you don't yeah. want to. Well, yeah. right. We all want to. I would. You know? We all want to. That's like don't, that's damage with finesse. With finesse. Like it's damage in Italian. Yes. Yeah. Damage. Damage. And you know, with that, again, nothing too crazy. But I, I will say that both teams have kind of. You know, they've checked each other here, right? Oh, yeah, no one's gone sure. down just yet. They're waiting for some of these, more of these level fours to come online here. But ultimately, they're going to make their way to that turtle. But look at this. This okay. is already a Bruno. different start, at least in the gold lane. Kelra getting bullied a little bit. But can he activate 
that thing we were talking about before here in the top oh, side, though. Huge fight activated in terms of already, and here we go. The backup right. was so quick from Onik. Aura, she had no time to respond. Oh my god. Orbital Strike coming out from Onik with Super Fins. Free turtle and again. The diversion. Yeah, huge diversion there. Super Fins called it in the perfect spot where you will not see it come in. Of course, they come out on top with the turtle as well. Zero. They come out swinging, they get the objective, they get the first blood here. This is already a great start once again. Medyo natutulog pa si Demon Kite. Oh, this is going to be pretty massive here. Nats can't really leverage the buff on the Paquito if you're fighting, especially a guy with the BOS, the body of Smith, man. Yeah. Can't deal with it. That was uncalled for from uh, Nats, actually. Shouldn't have fought. And now, RC are crumbling. They're, they're not making the, the, the better decisions yeah. going up against Onik. So with that, you know, I guess one of the big things here, too, having the Lui Yi, a hero we don't often see in quite a few leagues, right? Uh, how will this play a part here in the already the lead that Onik Philippines has guarded themselves? You know, it's nothing too crazy. But we have to talk about the ultimate available to that Lui Yi and help with displacement and positioning here. Well, they kind of didn't set themselves up for There success. it is. There it is. There we go again. <laughs> really quick rotation on the bottom side of the map. That's a five-man Onyx stack against four right now from RSG, and they are struggling to push M back. Uh, yeah, me. going back, I think um, RSG... What they need to do now is to make sure that their lanes are not getting pushed and um, leverage this uh, Paquito eventually because otherwise it will be dead away. So how do you leverage a Paquito? First is you go for instant kills on your, your on your enemy's uh, gold laners. That's what. However, Nats doesn't have the flicker. No. So another option here that you can use for the is the split for the Paquito is the split push. But also Onik have figured that out. They have diversion. Si Tarisla. That's the Luya League's ultimate, by the way. I'm not talking about actual diversion with diversion. small D. Yeah. yeah. Speaking of diversion, man, we were diverted here. Light did not see it coming as well. And you got to be careful with Escalera. He's very deadly with that final slash so far. No kills getting, but you can see the threat. It's there. This the battle for the turtle. Demon Kite gonna be zoned out quite a bit here. Yeah, full vision right now. Demon Kite in no position to get this retribution at all. Look at that two-man zone here, and they even take him down. Nats trying to fight back, but he is being pushed as well. Look at this beautiful oh. movement here coming in from Nats. Oh. Getting something done here for RSG finally. Hey, I, I'm surprised Nats even got the kill there. I thought he was gone. At least he got something, right? Yeah. At least RSG is now on the board. But even with that, they still try to hold it together here. Guys watching online, ladies and gentlemen, grab that code while you can. We're not sure how long that's going to last, but grab it. Superstar match giveaway. Oh, man. RSG lost Demon Kite, and because of that death, there will be a massive difference in terms of EXP. King Kong is now level 8. 2 0 and 1 for the Baksha means that Onik will have, will have secured their retributions easily. And additionally, they got the turtle, so this is super duper good for Arnie. I mean, no, eventually Super Prince died, but he already did his job. The diversion play was there, the burst down was there. RT, uh, super Prince was actually the hero or the player that took down the turtle. So, Onik are uh, in a great spot now. Great spot right now, still. We're gonna put the pressure here on this tier There one. you go. Activating final slash right away. Light can't really react properly here. He's gonna go down. But here is a follow-up from RSG. We got RTZ on the sides, waiting in the wings, looking for a target. No one is in sight here. That's going to ever get a fall here. A big, big boon for RSG, but, and will be forced back by Onik. While wow, RSG's yeah, Nats push looking push at the nuts. top side of the map. He's he's doing exactly what you said, Wolf. He's trying yeah. to leverage that Paquito. Yep. Yeah, that's, that's how you, you deal with Onik now if you're RSG. Take advantage of the Paquito split push. And uh, force out fights when you can. Don't really overthink it. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Speaking of, like yeah. we were talking wow. about earlier. Man, Wolf is so good at predicting. He predicted the fun pack of the day. Okay. <laughs> Coach at 2 max. 
Oh, hold on. Mid oh, lane. look at that. Oh, my goodness, oh, Light. There's just light. no exit for this guy. The moment Onyx thinks they're keeping him. And another play coming in. Oh, Onyx, lane. they're not stopping. Oh, my God. That could have been bad for Nats. Yeah, and the thing is, they only sent two of their players there to deal with Nats. Man, oh, what a diversion. Oh, my goodness. Oh my God. What is this, Loki? <laughs> this, oh, this, is, this is why you pick this hero, right? It, right. Just, it causes percent. chaos. And Chaos being leveraged here as Let's well say. for Onyx. Bravo. Beautiful movement. They take out the gold laner of RSG. Oh. And the damage to actually put Demon Kite low. Another diversion play. Nats might not expect this. Kellra is here. They're on the search. They're on the hunt. Oh, they're the going hunt. for him. Nats. Go for it, Nats. No, oh, not. can he pull it off? Oh, pull no. off the 2v1. Oh, oh. Missing out on the final slash. But... Nats is still ready. Light finally coming in with for the backup. Ah, uh, yeah. that was a weird final flash. Yeah, <laughs> hit okay? air. Yeah, but you know. Yeah, but then again, Onyx still got the turtle, and then will be marching up top. Parang yeah, right. the ano yung command nila. Gotta be careful here. Parang nagugulohan yung RSG. So they trade things across the map for now. Another Diversion, one. Though. Another one. Man, <laughs> let us breathe. Man, Onyx just this is actually super smart, right? For Onyx, they're not letting RSG have a foothold. Yes. They're not letting him breathe at all, literally. Correct. That's the, the correct play coming out from Onyx. Do not, do not let go of the grip. You have the, you have map control anyways, and RSG is in a state of uh, of confusion, right? Yeah. They're, they're, in shell sh they're shell shocked. They're right diverted, now. man. Yeah. They literally are diverted, <laughs> you know? <laughs> yep. This yeah. isn't Another map play. control, man. Ma this is map monopoly. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 what? Okay. What? Okay. What? See, that's... You might wonder why, mm -hmm. and but so are we. So, so are we. But, but yeah. they made it work. I just want to make sure no one's, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the thing, though. Uh, what I like that they're doing with the diversion for Onyx Philippines is they're also kind of, it, it's a guessing game almost. Yeah. Because, again, you have to counter the fact that Nats is split pushing like a madman. He's, he's doing literally all that Nats can right now. He's not going to join any of these fights <laughs> as they try to deal with this. But Onyx Philippines playing with that kit that Loi brings to the table is to kind of counter in some of this macro level play that's happening from Navs, despite them being down 3,000 gold. Yeah, Nats looking like the shining beacon here for RSG. Maybe their way back to claw it back, yeah. get some leverage or some control back of the map. And RTZ as well, popping the echo. Very important because that's how you identify where Arctic members are at. Mm -hmm. Kind of lessens the diversion place, but Arctic. One thing that you also have to think about the Louis is that it deals massive damage, actually. Yeah, there they go. Us. They're going to the, uh, we call it the uh, ambush. There it is. Ambush from the back. They hit him from the back, and Arteezy can't even react. What a play. What a play. What a play. <laughs> that, like, That's honestly, all you can say. No, like, Louis brings this certain IQ to any team that decides their drafter. And if you make it work, it looks amazing. Yeah. But sometimes you blunder. Yeah. Well, right now, our Philippines is not blundering with this pick, and that will garner them this Lord as well, furthering the lead that they have the to work around the map. And another diversion another goes to the bot lane. Okay. Now, I think it's it's worth it to name bushes now. Yeah. And th that that play that they did, this where light is, that bush where light is, mm -hmm. me, and Majin, me and Majin wanted to call it the ambush. The, the ambush. ambush. Yes. Yeah, that's... <laughs> I'm so proud of you. And it's perfect because <laughs> it, was perfect. They, it was perfect because of this game. <laughs> it's called the ambush. Let's make that a Welcome now. to the Tito desk, uh, by the way. If you right. haven't heard this trio before in the season's past, <laughs> oh there's a goodness. lot of Tito jokes and dad jokes thrown around. Yes, sir. Shows our age. <laughs> and and man, Jesus. Well. Oh, no. Oh, look at that. Nah, oh, no. Can't right. really serve. No, that's four members and a very basically fully fed Kelra. Oh, man. He hasn't shown his face in the fight that's because he's so busy farming it up so much he's scary oh man and alongside obviously the burst coming in from Aloyi who has had so many assists how many assists does Aloyi have man. He's got six he's got he's on six. the board right yes. again uh with 70%. this yeah with this play too they know like this is the difference here with this this lineup from Monarch Philippines when they have this lead here they love to keep putting the pressure on whoever they're playing and that's kind of what we're seeing here this game hasn't been 
like the Kelra show, right? It's not that. It's, it's definitely it's not the that. entire team doing it again, figuring out what works for them, even with this lineup, as they now get ready for the base. Oh, beautiful activation there of the final slash, you know, playing it around yeah. that turret, playing it under, and juggling that damage quite well. Even the Scalera gonna be surviving because of the immortality. I would say pretty well performed defense as well for RSG. I mean, they didn't lose any turrets at the very least. <laughs> that is actually a, a great defense from RSG. Yeah. Despite a lot of explosions from Onik, they still managed to keep their turret. It's actually, you know, look at that. And another fake teleport. Ooh. Another one, but Escalera this time, even at low HP, Wait, but activates Escalera. and goes for the kill. Yeah, and even kind might actually fall. Slow alongside the inhibitor turret there, bottom side getting way along by Keller as well. Ooh, the attack speed. Like, if we're seeing it, well, we're seeing that attack speed change oh, being done to these marksmen. It's just 12 minutes into this game. That was a good choice, by the way, from Escalera. Yeah, to decide, you know what? I know I'm quite low, yeah, but I'm gonna do this so that we get these turrets, and they got yeah. two out of that. So oh, great man. decision there. Yeah, from the At 13 minutes. Actually, a few seconds before that, you're already locked item for Kelra. And then you just sell your boots, get another one, and you're A-OK. -okay. Onik are in a very, very good spot now. They can even go for another teleport play soon. Yeah, they don't seem to be any, there doesn't seem to be any hesitation at all for them, yeah. right? Super friends making these shots matter, making these diversion plays matter, and Escalera Always ready to pull the trigger on the final slash. Playing up on the Nats here. Oh. Followed up very well by RSG this time around. Escalero might be in trouble here and will be saved by the diversion oh. play. Not really. Oh. No, no, not active at all wow. here. Ayun and lang. RSG bite back. Back na lang talaga si Kelra doon. Hey, there from pesto. RSG. What? It looked like Onyx Philippines wanted to go for it and RSG said no. Man, great place coming out from RSG. A great identification as well. Now they have a sort of a green light to actually take the Lord Dance. Finally, right? After how many minutes? RSG looking like they're Gemma's ready to fight. Flicker. Kelra though on the backside. Lord half health, less than. Yeah, where's the retribution? The King Kong, he's winding it up. Fighting right now is going to be light under that Lord Pit. And to say on the side, who got the red tree? It's gonna be King Kong. Oh my God! King Kong. <laughs> nah, go for the Lord, and they force him back. Conceal used as well. Hola, Escalera no. looking to put the pressure in. He's got well the played. flicker available. Look at the base. Oh man, I think they got caught out there in a bit of a surprise, maybe. And uh, basically, so a big thank you comes guys. out from King Kong. You know what? You put down the Lord. Thank you very much. It's mined up. By the way, Gilra picked up the Athena shield, sells his boots. This is a great pickup coming up from Onik. Right now, Lord down the mid lane. Ay, well. They go for it. Here comes Sinclair on the back here. Oh, beautiful. Pot. Oh, oh my god, this, this is just non stop massacre here. The King Kong up front. Gilra. Damage is coming in from Kelra. What the finish? And goes for the jugular. Well played, well played. Onik Philippines. Kelra looking MVP like a dito. super team tonight. As they sweep the series against RSG Philippines. Well played to zero for Onyx Philippines against RSG. Game one, Luigi.